When I think about the, the hospital opening five years ago, I, first of all, it's hard to believe it's been five years. It feels like we've always been here. Um, but I just remember how exciting it was. I was brand new. I was newly assigned to this campus. And so I came in on the tail end of all the planning, but just got to be there for the, the best part, which was the getting ready to move and the patient move and just seeing um, the excitement, but also the nostalgia. Because many people you know, were so blessed that we have coworkers who've been with us for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And so they, some of them were born in that hospital, had their career in that hospital, and then we were leaving it. So there was that little that nostalgia, but then also that excitement of, you know, what's possible. A, a lot of planning obviously went into building a facility of this size. And uh, we had many, many teams of people working, not only their regular jobs, but the, on the planning and design side, working with our architects and with Tun and Blank to put together this beautiful facility that you see here today that we're so blessed to have in our community. You know, as we celebrate five years of the hospital, it's, it's very, very exciting to look at the development that's coming in around that. It's really great to be able to see um, the community working hand in glove with the hospital to be able to continue to grow and, and help the health and vibrancy of that community. St. Anthony's Hospital opened November 1904. They saw their first patient early in November. The sisters did. There were six sisters at that time. That patient paid us in potatoes and a chicken, actually. That's, that's how the story goes. You know, we're here to serve everyone in this community, regardless of their ability to pay. So we're continuing the Franciscan legacy at Homer Street by um, still having a presence on the campus. So while we took down some older parts of, of the building, uh, we still have a presence that is uh, aimed at what are some of the needs in the community that we serve. So in, um, in the Homer Street campus, we have our behavioral health unit, so to care for some of our, our patients who struggle with mental health issues. Uh, we have our um, prenatal assistance program to help those young moms in, in need and their babies, and we provide space to WIC to also help those in need. Uh, we moved very, very early on a Saturday morning. It was January 12th, 2019. And uh, the first thing I remember, of course, is snow. We had uh, snow that morning, about an inch, so just enough to cover the roads. Uh, but the other thing I remember very clearly was in the lobby, greeting every patient that was transferred from St. Anthony's to the new Franciscan Health facility was Sister Jane Marie, our chairwoman of the board, with a warm blanket. And she would wrap every patient that came in on a, an ambulance stretcher with that warm blanket and greet them and uh, welcome them to the new hospital. Before we had the open house and we opened the hospital, we, we did bless the hospital and also consecrate the altar. It was a brand new altar. That chapel is that connection with the sisters and it's also Christ's physical presence with us in the building. Being right there on 94 has really opened the hospital up to accessibility for more folks that um, feel like that's a place that they want to go and a place where they're going to go and get quality care. Well, there was a great outpouring from our community uh, toward our healthcare workers during COVID. You know, through all the challenges and just everything in these past five years, just see how the mission was lived out and just the many ways that we um, we came together as a Franciscan family. So, it, and, and it doesn't, and really the building is beautiful. It's an exciting place to be in, but it's not the building that matters. It's the, the people that are in it. And, and that's what makes this building just an amazing place to, to be in and to work in. So. One day I drove in and we you know we've got quite a long drive into the facility and there were signs, uh, grass, like lawn signs put up all along the drive with different inspirational statements that just people in the community had come and uh, erected at, at night or in the early morning so that our people could see it as they were driving in for work. Very powerful, yeah. The downstream revenue yeah. from a hospital investment is, is amazing. And so again, you know, as economic developers, we don't look at any single investment as just the, this is a straight investment. We look at it as long-term impact. The investment in Michigan City has helped to grow that community. It's more than a healthcare system. It's more than a job. It's, it's we're doing God's work. And I see that witnessed each and every day and every single person that I encounter. People look at this facility and its magnificence and uh, it kind of steals the show, right? But I think of the people all the time. It's our people. Uh, our people make the difference and our people make us great. And just uh, this building would be nothing without the Franciscan people in here doing the work that they do.